Welcome to Electron Line and there's another thing here that we can discover with studying the spectrum of elements coming from nebulas and, and other objects in space. So when we look at the lines, the line spectra, or in other words for emission spectra, we can actually see how much of the elements are there. In some nebulas there's a lot more hydrogen or a lot less hydrogen than typical. There may be oxygen, there may be neon, there may be all kinds of other gases. And so when we look at the spectrum, this is again the typical spectrum of hydrogen. In some cases we see very bright lines there. That would indicate that there's a lot of hydrogen in that particular nebula that we're looking at. And sometimes the lines are very faint compared to lines of other elements which may be much brighter. So that gives us a feel of the relative makeup of that gas cloud in space, of that nebula in space. So we can then say, well, here's a typical nebula that has the typical ingredients of the universe, which is typically 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. But in planetary nebulas, we sometimes have a very different arrangement, a very different ratio of the various gases within that nebula, and that then shows up in the various intensities of the lines making up the spectrum of that particular element. So another great tool for astronomers is to be able to compare the intensity of those lines from one nebula to another, and therefore sometimes realize that, oh, look at this, there's lots of hydrogen in that nebula, look at that, wow, there's actually not that much hydrogen in there, there's more of the other elements present in those particular nebulas. Again, we have to rely on what we can see from far, far away, and so analyzing the light that comes from us in every different way possible gives us clues faint clues here and there about what makes up the universe and how things are arranged and what ratio of elements we can find and so forth, giving us ideas and information that helps understand the universe. So here's another very interesting clue into how to look at the universe, looking at the abundance of elements through the thickness of the lines, the spectrum lines that we see.